Chase? What's up? What are you doing here? It's Batman. He's in trouble. Gotham's gotten worse. Commissioner Gordon's dead. Batman is going to kill the Joker. But you need to come back to Gotham and convince him not to do it. Bruce Wayne's not my responsibility. But he saved you, Dick. What if you're the last person on Earth who can save him? He lost his conscience. He never had a conscience. He's the only hero that Gotham has left. If he goes bad, the city goes down. Bruce! Wait! He's a... What is good YouTube, Warst you here with a video on the Titans Season 1 finale. So it's been a minute since I've done a video on this channel. So at a first glance from the trailer for the supposed season finale, it looks pretty insane, it looks savage. But I'm going to break it down for you guys because it is very misleading. At first you're like, damn, Batman's an absolute savage, Commissioner Gordon is dead, Joker's dead, Two-Face is dead, Riddler's dead. Everyone is dead. Batman's killing the police, but it's not that's not actually the case So the finale is called Dick Grayson and rumorly he will be getting his Nightwing costume either in this episode or In the start of season two it make more sense to give him an, him the Nightwing costume right at the end as he doesn't really want to be Robin anymore but I doubt this room is actually true. So a lot of people are saying this episode will be two hours long. But from everything I've been told, it's going to be one hour long. But the only reason people are actually saying it's supposed to be two hour long is because this is episode 11. And originally on websites like IMDb, on the DC Universe, it was listed as 12 episodes long. So this would only be episode 11. So maybe they're going to release another promo closer to the episode airing on Friday. Because... We don't actually see a lot in this trailer. We don't see Raven. We don't see Beast Boy. It ju generally just focuses on Robin. Robin and Batman, literally. So it's dubbed to be Batman versus Robin. So let's get into this breakdown. I really can't wait for this freaking episode. It's going to be awesome. So the previous episode was pretty cool. Trigon finally broke free. So the reason he broke free is because Beast Boy needed his life saved and the only person that could do that was Trigon. So Angela, the mother, Raven's mother, was involved all along and they set this up in this episode so well. She kept giving her daughter the motherly kind of conversations which she never did. So Trigon promises Angela He's going to begin devouring the world once he breaks his daughter's heart. And then the camera kind of pans in to Beast Boy because it's kind of like they're going to build a relationship up. But I don't think that's the case they're going. Considering she's the only one who can defeat him. She's got, so I presume that's the reason why Trigon has to break his daughter's heart. But she can destroy him. So Dick Grayson isn't going to let Trigon do that without putting up a damn good fight. So for people that don't actually read comics or never watch Teen Titans Go, Trigon is Raven's father. He is essentially a demigon conqueror intent on bringing every reality into existence under his control. Trigon powers are insane. He is the devil. He is so evil. Just to run over a few of them, he can do telekinesis, telepath, he's a tracker, darkness manipulation, dark force manipulation, dimensional manipulation. He can literally do everything 
that you can actually think of. And why is this important? Because I think this is just a dream or it's some kind of alternate reality because the way it sets up the trailer, it wants you to think that Batman absolutely is a killer. And the way they've been talking Batman throughout the whole show is Robin left Gotham because Batman was such a savage. So they want you to think that Batman is this savage killer. And also there's a lot of other signs. So Jason Todd is the other Robin. He rocks up to Dick Grayson's house, which is kind of weird, in a wheelchair. Now, you know comic book shows like to do this. Is this a spin on the Barbara Gordon? You know, she was paralyzed from the waist down and was confined to a wheelchair after the Joker shot her through the spine. So are they doing a twist on this saying that the Joker has paralyzed, uh, obviously, Jason Todd? Or did Batman do this? So basically, Jason Todd comes in saying, Batman's out of control. You need to stop him. You need help or else Gotham will suffer. So I, I was looking on Twitter and some other various social medias and I can understand why this has annoyed a lot of people because obviously the Gotham TV show is returning in January and I can't wait for that. It's a pretty cool show but they are going to have to cram so much content into that final season to get everything down. So we get Batman in Gotham before the Gotham TV show. We get the Joker. We get Jason Todd. We get Two-Face. We get Riddler. We get everyone. Like, it's such a savage storyline. So I think the biggest thing that we annoy people is we are seeing a live-action version of Batman inside the Titans universe before in the Gotham universe, which I can understand is would be annoying some fans. And also we see a fully fledged Joker who is dead. So within this trailer, Commissioner Gordon is dead. He is dead. So at first Robin's like, I don't want to come. I don't want to come. But then at the end, he ends up rocking all the way back to Gotham. Now, why I think this is a dream is because it just looks too unrealistic. Now, he's in a house with Dove. So presumably he's living with Dove or staying with Dove. But the last time we see Hank and Dove, they were like, we've got to go see Raven. We've got to go see Raven. So I'm pretty sure they were going to see Rachel Raven. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what's actually happening. So there are a lot of telltale signs that tell you, yeah, it looks absolutely savage. I do believe Batman is an absolute savage killer in this universe, but I don't think it's the way you think it is. So it looks like Robin, let's call him Dick Grayson, goes to... Bruce Wayne's manor, which is technically where he grew up, to try and confront Batman. And it just looks like they're going to get into some absolute savage fighting. We do see a lot of cool stuff. We do see, obviously, the Batarang, the Batcave. We see Batman watching live footage. It looks like they're getting some crazy ass fight. But then the most prominent thing that, about the whole trailer is we see an object of someone with a coin and it's got two faces so maybe this is two face i think it's an easter egg or a reference to it being two face um uh, it's got to be two face really i can't think of anyone else in the dc universe who it would be it's a coin is it two face but the most prominent one and then we see the riddler who has got riddler like tattoos question marks on him so presumably this is a riddler reference but then the one that sent the internet crazy if we see a fully fledged joker who looks dead i mean if this isn't an altered reality and it's not like an induced manipulation dream to try and break dick grayson to break raven's heart or something like that then it's absolutely insane because he's got the jacket on he's got the green hair looks like he could be an arkham maybe I'm um, not really sure, but if we do see this, do we get to see the Batman killing the Joker or do they just want you to think that? Because it's pretty insane and then Robin's like, this is a massacre. We go in the room, there's lots of dead bodies. He's dropping bodies everywhere. Batman needs to be stopped. He really needs to be stopped. Then we get some Dark Knight kind of Arkham video game like scenes. And it just looks absolutely insane, guys. Anyone who is partially a Batman fan, you don't even have to be a big DC fan to like this Titan show. Uh, at first, it was a bit kind of mediocre, but towards the middle of the season, it's looking fantastic. So do you think this is actually Joker dead, Two-Face dead, Riddler dead? And we do see some footage of Batman even killing some police officers, which is absolutely insane, because we know Batman's always been a savage but not to this level. So there is a clip in the trailer where someone's being fought with a tank top on, a bold head. Is this Victor Zaz? I'm not really sure. Obviously, Victor Zaz is in the Gotham uh, TV show. That's the only character I can compare it to. And what's interesting is in the previous episode, 
We got Starfire realizing that where she's from, realizing where she came. She came obviously to stop Raven from helping Trigon because Trigon will destroy every world. If Raven isn't destroyed, obviously her world gets wiped out. Very convoluted, misleading stories. And then we get to this trailer, guys, and there's absolutely no content about Raven, really. There's nothing, Raven, most of this trailer focuses on Robin, really. We get a bit of Starfire, not, not really any Beast Boy or anything like that. This is why I think they're probably are going to drop another trailer for the season finale. And I really hope it is over two episodes because really they need to wrap up more than just the kind of the Batman-Robin storyline in this. Obviously, uh, Batman needs to be saved by Robin, which is a very interesting storyline because I don't think this has ever been done on TV before where Batman's an absolute savage killer. The only live action version we've had is a Gotham TV show, which is pretty good, but they're still years away from having a fully fledged Batman. Obviously, we know they may do a time jump in the next season of Gotham. Not really looked into that because I want to go into that blind. But guys, let me know. Do you think that I'm correct? Are you absolutely hyped for this? Is it Two-Face on the floor? Is it Riddler? It's definitely Joker, but is it Victor Zaz? And who... What version? Is this a Dark Knight version? Is it Christian Bale? Bale? Because I've tried to look, can't really see who is under the mask, who is playing Batman in the DC streaming service universe, I guess you could say. Um, but it's pretty cool. I'm really excited for the season finale. So guys, please like, subscribe and comment. Make sure to support the video. I haven't really done much Titans content at all, to be honest. That was mainly because one of my videos got got deleted randomly with no explanation so i've been trying to keep away from titans but this trailer is too good not to talk about it and also it's coming on to uk netflix in january i believe which is going to be pretty cool so you can binge watch it all in one go because as good as it is getting an episode a week it is quite annoying so for the fans that get to watch it in one go it's pretty sweet anyway guys I will catch you in another video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. All your comments down below. What is going on? Is this a Trigon-induced dream? It's going to be pretty cool to find out. Is Nightwing really going to get the costume? That would be so sick if, if he did get the costume right at the end of the episode. Then it cuts out. That would be pretty cool. Anyway, guys, I will catch you in that next video very soon. Catch you later.